Hi everyone, welcome back to our TLG at home series. As if, if this is your first time joining us, we are so excited to have you. Um, today we are gonna be talking about um, one, two, three and the colors I see. That's right, you guessed it, numbers and colors. This is the age where your child becomes familiar with um, numbers as well as beginning to count um, and recognizing certain colors, which is super awesome. And one fun thing to know is if uh, when we get our children involved in exercise and movement, it helps activate those areas in our brain um, that control that cognitive learning, like colors and numbers and being able to recognize those things. So a um, couple things you're gonna need today um, is either some bean bags um, or just a pair of rolled up socks, Hopefully they're clean. Uh, and then just some nice uh, open open area. It doesn't have to be too big. Um, as you can see, we're hanging out in the little gym uh, living room right now. So we got our coffee table over here with a couple of friends hanging out, enjoying some lunch. Um, and we got baby Daisy over here. Um, she's gonna be our uh, little volunteer. So we're gonna be doing some different spotting uh, just to help parents show you how to spot your child. Uh, so we're gonna get started with our opening uh, hello song. Um, parents, see if you can help your child get into a straddle if they can do it by themselves. Even better. All right, so we're gonna rub our hands together and pound our hands on the mat to make some music. Hey, if you know the song, sing with us. Here we go. Oh, everyone, please pound the mat. sing along with me. Hey, my name's Miss Haley, and I have a blue shirt on today. Hey, sing with me. Here we go. Haley wore her blue shirt, her blue shirt, her blue shirt. Haley wore her blue shirt, her blue shirt, her blue shirt. Haley wore her blue shirt in gym today. Hey, and what's your name? Uh, my name is Mr. Jordan. Hey, Mr. Jordan, and what color is your shirt? Uh, it's black. Oh, it is black. Hey, can you guys help us sing with Mr. Jordan? Jordan wore his black shirt, his black shirt, his black shirt. Awesome job. Hey, now it's your turn. Hey, parents, sing about the color of, of your child's shirt. Ready? Go. All right. Nice job, everyone. Well, hey, we're going to get warmed up. Enough of sitting down. So make sure you have enough room. Watch out for your coffee table if you have one or, or any um, hard pieces of furniture. We don't want to run into those. Um, and watch out for the couch. We don't want to run into that either. So let's get started. Everyone stand up on your feet. We're going to do some counting as well as using our bodies to create some different numbers. So turn on those listening ears. Here we go. Parents, please be ready to count with me and demonstrate the actions for the kids. Hey kids, look at your parents. They're going to make their bodies into the shape of the number one. Can you try? You can try to put your feet together, arms up high. Well, very good. Can you Mr. lay Jordan. down in the shape of number one? Ooh, can you lay down? Can you log roll in the shape of number Hey, we're gonna log roll. So you either start on your belly or your back. Make sure your arms are out straight and your legs are straight too. And you're just gonna roll onto your back, into your belly and then roll back on your belly. Hey, and if you have a younger child, you can even do something called a partner log roll because they may need a little help doing this. So what you can do is grab your younger child, uh, go tummy to tummy with them and lay down on your back. And what you're gonna do is when you turn over to your belly, you're gonna use your elbows and your knees to help prevent from squishing your child. We wouldn't want that. Uh, just like Mr. Jordan's doing here. Hey, give him that hand. This is a great volunteer. She doesn't really say much though. All right, hey, do you think you can try that? One or partner go. log roll together. Go. Log roll number one. Log roll number one. Log roll number one. Log roll on my wheel. Have you ever been one? How long have you been one? Have you ever Freeze. Give the kids a hand. Give them a hand. Let's clap and count to two. Ready? One, two. Hey kids, look at your parents. They're going to hold up two fingers on one hand. Can you do that? Can you do that? 
Can you keep holding your two fingers up as we run? Let's be a running Hold two. Hold them up high. Let's Go. run. Two, two, buddy, two, 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 buddy, two, you guys are so fast. Two, buddy, two, running on my way. Back you up, I'm getting to and count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Now let's slap our bellies and count to four. Ready? One, two, three, four. Look at your teacher. They're holding up four fingers on one hand. Can you do that? Can you do that? Hold up four. Now can you hold up four fingers on both hands? Oh, our fingers will be our feathery wings as we flap our arms and gallop like a chicken. Like a Go. chicken? Hey, can you try that? We're going to step and slide. So stand sideways, keep your four out, and we're just going to step and slide, step and slide, step and slide. Hey, if you have an older child, maybe they can even add a little hop, just like this, or like a gallop. But if you have a younger child and they need a little help, just move in sideways, you can hold their hands and have them face you so they can see your feet move. So as you step and slide, we're gonna step and slide. Just like that. Hey, give it a try. Don't forget to keep your four on. Let's go. Can 
can you run with your bean bag on your head? Go, go, you guys are so fast. Great job keeping your bean bag on your head. Yeah, nice balance. And freeze. Hey, can you sit down with your bean bag? Oh, thank you. Hey, what color is this? Very good. Can you put your bean bag or socks on your toes? Ooh, put them on your toes. Ooh, that feels kind of funny. Yeah. Hey, what color is this? Blue. Blue. Very good. Can you put your bean bag or socks on your chin? Very good. Hey, what color is this? Orange. Very good. Can you put your bean bag or socks on your knees? Where are your knees? I thought you were going to say nose. Oh, we'll get to that later. Oh, man. Hey, you got two knees. Maybe you're right knee or your left knee. Hey, what color is this? Purple. Purple. Very good. Hey, can you put your bean bag or socks on your chest? Where's your chest at? Can you put it on your chest? Oh, very good. Hey, and how about this one? What color is this? Yellow. Yellow. Very good. Can you put your bean bag or pair of socks on your elbow? Where's your elbow? Oh, oh, there it is. Put it on your elbow. And maybe you can put it on the other elbow. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Whoa. Oh, that was too fast. Crazy. Hey, let's try this. Maybe we can try to stand up and stand on our bean bag or pair of socks. Does that feel pretty silly on your feet? Mm. It does for me. Can you jump on them? Can you jump on it? Jump, jump, jump. Freeze. Hey, maybe you can even try to jump over your bean bag. Hey, let's count. Stand behind your socks or bean bag and count with me. One, two, three, jump. Oh, did you land on two feet? Let's do that again. You ready? Count with me. One, two, three, jump. Ah, oh, excellent job. Hey, go ahead, give that a try. Can you jump over your socks or bean bag a couple of times on your own? I'm gonna jump forwards and backwards. Maybe sideways. Sideways. Oh. Nice landing on your feet over there. in a bunch of different silly ways. Um, like maybe between your feet. Can you put them between your feet? Not on top, not under, but between them. Hey, nice job. Hey, maybe you can put them between your knees. Not on your knees, put them between your knees. Hey, very good, Mr. Jordan. Thank you. Try not to let them fall, squeeze your knees together. Hey, try this one. Maybe you can put your bean bag or socks in your elbow joint. You gotta squeeze both parts of your arm together, but don't let it fall. Maybe you can even do a shake test. Does it fall like a chicken? Nope. Hey, maybe you can put it under your armpit. Oh, don't smell those later. Pee, yeah. Hey, nice job. Give everybody a hand. your bean bag or socks away. We're not going to need those anymore. All right. Hey, we're going to move into our skills. Um, we've got three skills for you guys to do at home. So I'm going to run through them quickly um, and demonstrate how to spot these. And then you guys can do these um, all week long. All right. So the first skill we're going to do um, is called a sack of potatoes or a fireman's carry. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to put them over your shoulder, put your child over your shoulder. You can either have them face behind you or forward, but the most important thing is make sure you're holding around their waist because we want most of their head and the rest of their torso hanging off your shoulder. This is a great exercise to help strengthen our back muscles because we're trying to keep our head up, um, as well as our tummy muscles trying to keep the rest of our body up. So, hey, let's walk in a circle as you hold your child in that fireman's carry. Give it a try. Hold them over your shoulder. Excellent form, Daisy. Thank you. Whew, that was a workout. Hey, the next skill you can do when you go home 
um, is some rock and roll. So we'll let Mr. Jordan give it a try. I want you to sit down, parents, in a tuck position, just like Mr. Jordan's doing here, and you can take your child and sit him on your lap. Yep, right on your lap, and kind of just give him a nice hug. So what we're gonna do in this activity is challenging that vestibular system, as well as that body awareness. So we're gonna just kind of rock back and forth, just like Mr. Jordan's doing, and then pop right back up. So let's do that, but while we count. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Hey, nice job, friends and everybody. Hey, the third skill we're gonna do is a wheelbarrow into a handstand. So this activity um, is to help strengthen that upper body, our arms and our shoulders and even our back. So what you're gonna do um, is we're gonna have, put our, have our child put our hands on the floor and we're gonna spot them in the hips. We always wanna make sure we're spotting in the hips and not our feet. If we spot them in the feet or ankles, that's gonna create that curvature in their spine and we don't want that. Their back and their tummies aren't quite strong enough for that yet. So make sure we're spotting um, in, the, in the hips um, and they're gonna kind of walk on their hands and just get them moving forward. You might run into the problem of them wanting to do a forward roll. We, everybody loves forward rolls, so I understand that problem. But one way to help with that um, is you can take one arm and wrap it around their waist um, and your other hand to help kind of pick up their chin because that's kind of a physical cue uh, to show them that we don't want them to roll and they're going to look up just like that. And so that way they'll be able to keep their head up and you might get them to walk a little bit longer. Um, another important thing to keep in mind is try to keep their body as parallel to the ground as possible um, because that will allow them to use most of those shoulders and their arms. Um, if you pick them up too high, that's going to force a lot of that weight to be put into their wrists and we don't want that. All right, so hey, let's give it a try. Can you do that at home? Whoa! And maybe bring them into a forward roll after they've gone a quite distance. Hey, nice job everyone. Awesome. So remember, these are some skills that you can do when you guys, um, when you're already home, but you can do it the rest of the week. These are some spotting techniques, um, but we're going to, we're going to end this and do our closing goodbye song. So come and join us back on the floor again. Make sure to show us your big straddles. All right. Hey, we're going to rub our hands together and pound the mat. Hey, sing with us. Parents, remember, if you sing along, your child is more likely to do it to you. Here we go. Oh, everyone.